Billionaire and former New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg is, is expected to file paperwork this week in at least one state with an early deadline, although an advisor said the former New York City Mayor had not made a final decision to actually run. Robert Frank joins us now with more on Bloomberg's wealth. Good Robert. morning, Melissa. Michael Bloomberg would be the richest man ever to run for president, and while his wealth could reshape the money landscape, it could also be his biggest liability in a now more populous Democratic Party. Now, Bloomberg sending staffers to Alabama to qualify for the primary there before today's deadline. He has not made a final decision, but people close to the former mayor saying he is seriously considering a run since he believes the current frontrunners cannot beat the president. Now, Bloomberg's net worth is $52 billion. That makes him the eighth richest American. He is, by the way, 17 times richer than the president. His fortune comes from his nearly 90 percent stake in Bloomberg LP. That's the financial data and news empire that he co-founded in 1981. He was, of course, the mayor of New York City for 12 years, switching to the Republican Party and then at the end back to a Democrat. He's already given away more than $8 billion to charity, mainly focused on gun control, climate change, education and health care. Elizabeth Warren writing to supporters last night, quote, another example of the wealthy wanting our government and economy only to work for them. Bernie Sanders also welcoming him into the race, saying the billionaire class is scared and they should be. I mean, it's, it's the scarlet letter right now in the Democratic Party is B mm -hmm. for billionaire. I mean, right. almost automatically, no matter what he has done in his life, the fact that he is a billionaire, I think, just makes him unacceptable to so much of this electorate. Right. 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 It's, it's just. It's but a, I will say, I don't know and Andrew, you, to him. He, and, it's patently obvious that he's well, not the answer. And Andrew, you know this. He has a private polling operation. Yes, he does. That is one of the best in yep. the country. And so, A, he's not doing this blindly. He right. must see some path. But it also proves that he sees that none of the current front runners right. can beat Trump. And that, I think, is perhaps more importantly than whether he can win or not. The more right. important lesson is that his polling operation, which is so sophisticated and so data centric, shows him that none of these current front runners can beat Trump. Is that enough his... for him to beat the current front runners, though? Because that seems whole, like that's, that's what he has to run on. That, that is what he has to do first. And, and I, I think that's the big open question right now, as Joe mentioned earlier, his polling numbers within the party, as many Democrats dislike him and will never vote for him as like him, and that's, that's the issue he faces.